What's up everybody, it's your boy, it's Ellie. Welcome back to another take here at Esports with Elrod. And I saw in the comment section that my audio was a little low in my previous video and hopefully that I did some stuff in the back end on the production side of things to help bump up that audio so you guys could hear it better. But let me know, can you guys hear the audio any better from the previous videos? If you don't know, go check out some of those previous videos, help boost up the views, leave a like on there, and let me know your feedback. But let's go ahead and start out. In the world of Halo, and more specifically the HCS, the competitive side of Halo, APG, who's a player on Optic, who found his head on the chopping block recently. It was going to be him or Pistola that got dropped for the replacement of Formal. And ultimately, that replacement came with the dropping of Pistola and the addition to Formal. And he used the feeling of having his head on the chopping block as motivation to get better for the game. So you could say he put that hashtag time in and drastically improved his craft in the lab. Flies in, gets the kill on bottom tunnel. APG also picks up another one in the back elevator and another, a killing spree. Double kill there for the side of APG. Going to be very happy with what he was able to do at back elevator in the end. Real 2 does get the sword, but they also find themselves with a five kill deficit. And just to touch upon APG, I mean, he knew all, all well. He His head could have been on the chopping block, right? When it was between him and Pistola. I think everyone knew it was him or Pistola that was going to go in place of Formal. And I, I spoke to APG and he said, hey, I had a phone call that day and I thought that was the call of them saying I was dropped. And they said, hey, we're getting rid of uh, Pistola, unfortunately, but you're staying with us. We're going to get Formal in. Oh, and boy. I think that says a lot, right? That APG was that worried it could have been him. So now he's going to want to make a point, make a statement about why he's in this roster still. So whatever he did when he went back to the chalkboard and drew up a new game plan, it definitely worked. But I also would like to think and tip Formal on this. Granted, we all know I'm a big Formal fan, but it is well known and documented that Formal is a great teammate that he brings out the most out of the team and the people around him. And he knows how to gas them up and when to gas them up. As well as when to call them out on the bullshit. And Formal and APG have been teammates in the past and they're great friends. In game and IRL. And speaking of the HS, we do have the brackets right here. So I'll go ahead and put up on screen. We can look at it real quick. I'm not going to do a lot of talking on this because this will be a whole nother video. But we could see Pool A, Pool C, Pool B, and Pool D. Optic is in Pool B. And their biggest competition here is definitely going to be FaZe Clan. And I'm not saying that they have the easy ride out, but out of all the other pools, it looks like Optic and FaZe are definitely going to be head over shoulders, the number one and number two teams in that in that pool. While if we look at pool D and pool A, that definitely looks like they're going to have a little bit more uh, competition to get out of that. It's not going to be clear who gets out. Because Exit and Ascend out of pool A, as well as the Chiefs, all of those, those three right there could take second. Cloud9 for sure is going to come out of that. And then in pool D... You know, Sentinels, Pioneer, and then as well as the Knights, that's a toss-up in itself. Sentinels for sure, but out of the Pioneers and Knights, who's going to come out on top? But like I said, that's going to be a whole other video on a whole different day when the Kansas Major does come closer. So probably like next week. And speaking of heads on the chopping block, we got to talk about the gunless situation in Call of Duty. And honestly, with Spart, who just got the MVP as a substitute for the last Major, it's kind of hard not to go with him and to, to go with the team that won the major, especially with the Cinderella run that they did have. Coming out of the loser's bracket and just going undefeated winning the whole thing, and I, I don't even think losing an SND round. In fact, they might even hold the record for the most consecutive wins in SND. Plus the Spark, he single-handedly changed the meta and got the Volk G8, which is crazy, because that gun doesn't need a GA, it needs to be the pistol, the rat, but that's here nor there. That's also a different talk for a different day if you guys really want to talk about GAs in Call of Duty. But it does seem like the team is going with this five-man roster with four people who are hot and ready to go who are paving the way with one person who's ready to go into that rotation and take over that starting spot. However, we know Gunless, he is a vet. He's been in the game for a minute. We know he's not going to be completely satisfied with sitting on the bench. And with the LA Gorillas and New York Subliners having these trials, testing out different rosters and different lineups to see who they're ultimately going to go with, especially in this back half of the season, could we see Gunless join one of those teams to get a starting position? Let me know what you guys think all down below. I hope you guys have a great freaking day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Watch bottom mid, watch bottom mid. No, top mid, top mid. Two top mid, I'm going big star. I'm flat, guys. I'm going big star. I don't see anything. Bottom right here. Two big door. I'm going to die with sniper over here. I'm here, Justin. I got shots. Oh, I missed it. Nice. Look out there. Small door. That guy's small door. Oh, dead. I got it over. Like, fucking go, Brad! That was actually very nice. That was kind of nice. Yo, clip that. Clip that stream. Clip that. Just guys, they were both in our spawn. One guy was roost. I think I was in our spawn. P3. Seconds left. I legit have to be a little bit hesitant on trying to get this bomb in. Just spawn you up, bro. Alright, let's go. Calm what you're doing. 
I'm just gonna get to the phone now. Other side. Okay, 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 okay. One on one's on either end. I see. Oh my goodness! Takes it anyway! 